Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, long time since I did a makeup tutorial. You've been asking for it. And I thought, why not? Not one but two remember way back in the day i believe it was 2015 we used to do day to night makeup well it's a wedding season and i wanted to do a day to night makeup tutorial because uh wedding season is a really busy time from morning pujas to events and functions in the evening and preps in the morning so once you get out of the house in the morning you have very little time to touch up in between if any so i wanted to show you like a really nice simple makeup tutorial to get you through this wedding season so i'm rocking my natural curls and i feel like curly hair is really beautiful during the season it's just a little bit of curl cream on wet hair guys i haven't done anything else uh freshly washed face let's get this party started okay winter times my skin tends to get pretty dry and i think everybody's uh, skin is just the same so try to get a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid or ceramides peptides these are the ingredients that you want to look out for over here i'm using the pons moisturizer with hyaluronic acid it's the hydrate and strengthen one i love it because this is perfect for layering it's just so lightweight it's a gel texture and it has hyaluronic acid so you know whatever you apply on top when you spritz your face and all the moisture from the makeup it's all just going to stick on your face and keep your skin looking plump all day long next up it's time for sunscreen even though it is the wedding season and you're applying makeup don't be afraid of applying a little bit of sunscreen not a little bit you need plenty of sunscreen on your face because these days they do not really flash back okay and i'm using the pond sun miracle protect and hydrate sunscreen with spf of 50 pa plus 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 and the one that i'm using is the one with hyaluronic acid again because not only does it protect your skin from sun for 12 hours with a beautiful gel consistency do you see that there is no white cast it just blended right into my skin no oiliness nothing it's just a lot of juicy glowy plumping hydration and it's just amazing you know so it's even got the skincare benefits i'm gonna apply it on my eyes all your exposed areas okay your hands everywhere apply it everywhere and if you have really oily skin, even during winter time, they also have a nice ceramide version and nice ceramide, you know, will fade dark spots and blemishes over time. So you have two to choose from the hyaluronic acid one and the nice ceramide one. This is also SPF of 50 PA++++. This is such a perfect primer for makeup because it just plums out your lines and really sticks that foundation and all the layers that I'm about to apply on my face for the entire day and also 12 hour protection because who wants to be reapplying and all of that but do that anyways if you get the chance when it comes to base for the daytime i highly recommend a skin tint or a bb cream or whatever it is that the kids are calling it these days <laughs> i'm mixing two shades over here to get my perfect shade and just in case your bb cream is slightly on the thicker side you want it to be light and effortless so you don't feel very um, suffocated throughout the day just get a little bit of your moisturizer again and mix it in with your bb cream and it's gonna make it so light and airy when it comes to the base remember guys less is more do not apply too much when you apply less it even creases less and looks very natural and do not forget to take it down your neck i'm using my kabuki brush which is restocked restocked you guys you guys have been loving it so much that we brought it back blend it all in do not forget to bring it down your neck because you want it all even a touch of loose powder i'm going to dust this just underneath the eyes on my forehead and my smile lines to lock it in and to minimize the creasing for the cheeks I am loving just having a little bit of pink cream blush and just take this part of your hand if you've been having trouble with blending your cream blush press it on your cheeks like that use a brown colored brow gel to just set your brows in place you don't need anything 
too complicated during the daytime when it comes to your brows. You know, I love how makeup has taken such a minimal, simplistic approach um, compared to when I started YouTube. Not when I started, but you know, when I used to do these makeup tutorials with five layers of makeup. Today's makeup is about embracing yourself and I really, really love that, you know? Now for the eyes, take a very neutral shade of eyeshadow that matches your outfit. For example, I'm wearing yellow right now, so I'm not gonna go into pink. I'm gonna go into something more cool toned. So I'm gonna dip my brush into maybe this lilac. Um, actually no, maybe this peach. It's more, but this brown, yeah and apply this all over my eyes. This will make sure that you don't see all that creasing and you know, I just look fresh all day. And then take any simple shimmer or glitter, you know, highlighter, anything that has a little bit of gloss and tap it on to the center of your eyes with your finger. You don't need fancy tools and fancy brushes. This again just gives your eyes a pop, you know. Finish off the eyes with a little bit of mascara and cold pencil if you are a cold type of girl. And if you don't want anything, these days I've been really, really loving just empty eyes. Just this, you know, just wipe off that extra powder on your lashes so you don't look like a ghost. And just, you know, move on to the next step. And finally, for the lips, take a lip liner in a berry shade or a shade that most closely matches your natural lip shade. The details of all the makeup I'm using in today's video will be listed down in the description bar below, okay? What I've been really loving these days is just gently overlying your lips and then with your finger just blend in that lip liner so there is no defined hard line, it's just like a soft little pout, okay? Then, either take a tinted lip balm with SPF or a lipstick, one of those moisturizing lipsticks with SPF, but definitely make sure that your lips are sun protected too, not just your face. And I'm just dabbing gently that lipstick onto my lips. It gives more of a natural rosy pout than you know, defined, I've got makeup on, I spend hours doing my makeup. It's just a more ethereal, effortless look, which I think is very beautiful right now. Now, if your skin is not sensitive, one thing I like to do is just take a little bit of the lipstick and go back onto the cheeks so that everything is cohesive. Add a bindi if you'd like, some flowers, gush if you'd like, and set and set your makeup with a dewy finish makeup setting spray. I mean, if you have oily skin, go for a matte finish, but I really, really love a dewy finish because then you don't have to apply a highlighter. Did you notice? I, but do you see how that skin is glowing? Glowing. So there is no shimmer on your face. You know what I'm saying? It looks more like I didn't do anything. I'm just. I'm just, I just look like this all the time. Like, you know, your Ati Rao, Haidari, that look. Mm -hmm. So that's the day look, complete. All right, now let's turn this into a night appropriate look for that. If you've been running around the whole day, chances are you might have become a little oily and maybe your tinted moisturizer might have worn off a little bit. For that, what you do is take your concealer and wherever you have a little bit of problem area for me, it is around the mouth, the corner of my lips, maybe underneath my nose and also underneath my eyes. These are my problem areas. You can go ahead and cover whatever you would like to cover, you know what I mean? But just again, a tad bit is enough because if you do not have the time to remove the existing makeup, there is a lot on your face already, you know? So just be very, very conservative with this. And uh, here, your finger is really the, your best friend because you can just tap in your concealer without disturbing your lips and, you know, without disturbing your blush. And that's it. I've got a little bit more coverage while still keeping that glow from the moisturizer and the sunscreen. The skin is looking so glowy. I love that hyaluronic acid sunscreen, you guys. It's splendid. 
it works brilliant as a primer. In fact, I want to compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury primer with SPF. Now take a powder puff and the same powder that you have. If you like compact powders, go for it. I personally prefer translucent powder, which means there is no color to the powder. So it's not going to mess up your makeup. Use a translucent powder, so even in photos, it's not going to flash back. And this time around, keep a powder puff with you in your bag at all times, because you can even wipe your sweat or, you know, if there are your smile lines, if your makeup is creasing, you just need to take your powder velour puff and just dab it in and the skin just becomes flawless again. So many tips in this video. I'm going to go back to my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to show you a neutral look, okay? If you want to wear colorful eyeshadows, you can pick like a blue or a green and just go all over your eyelid, eyeliner, mascara, you've got a look. Now, if you want a more demure, neutral look, just take a dark brown eyeshadow on um, my pencil brush and go over your lash line just like that and create like a V and create like a V on the outer corner right here. You see, and that's a V. Just blend out the edges. You don't want anyone else to see the edges. Just you. <laughs> and take that same dark brown eyeshadow again and smudge out your lower lash line. I cannot even remember the last time I said that. <laughs> it's been so long since I did like a makeup tutorial. Oh my goodness. Now I, because I have a palette with multiple types of shimmer, I'm going to uh, dip into a more fun glitter because it's a night time and everything sparkly looks nice in the night time with the lights and you know so I'm going to take a little bit of sparkle and again just press it onto the center of my eyelid just a little will do the trick you guys and these days the eyeshadows are so well made you don't really need glitter blue or anything like that I'm going to touch up on my mascara to make my lashes a bit more voluminous. If you want, you can stick on a pair of falsies, but that's not my style, but you do you. I'm also going to deepen up my cheeks a little bit because all we have is like a flush of pink. I'm going to take purple. <laughs> you know, it, this whole purple blush went viral on social media. And I'm like, but we deep girls used to do this purple blush all the time. And this time around, I'm not applying it on the set apples of my cheek, I'm applying it more on, you know, where? Make it chatty. <laughs> this blush was so pigmented, you need the smallest, tiniest little amount, you guys. Again, you can see like you have applied a little too much. We have the real to the rescue, dab off the excess. That's it. And because it's the night time, like I said, everything shimmery looks very, very beautiful. So I'm going to take a little bit of highlighter and pop it on the bridge of my nose and my cheeks and my chin and basically everywhere. <laughs> and for the lips, we can go deeper as well. And because I am wearing a very neutral, simple but glittery eye look, I can go really, really bold. Now, if you've worn like a blue or green eyeshadow, I would recommend you stick to neutral browns or like a very, you know, nude lip. That deep lipstick just changed the look. And I always, always for an evening look, love to top off any lipstick with a nice it just changes, it just takes that look to another level. Oh my, oh my goodness, can you even say that this was a very neutral day look just minutes ago? Like it's because I'm chatting away to glory that it's taking so much time. If you just did this quickly, uh, this is gonna take no time, minutes. And once again, set it all. So no matter how much you dance and no matter how much you sweat, this is going to last all night. This makeup, you guys, is going to stay on your face till the next day morning, which I don't recommend. But if you don't wash your face, this is locked and loaded. So there you have it, guys. A makeup tutorial after what seems like forever. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, send this to someone who would enjoy makeup and uh, 
Comment down below and let me know how many weddings you're attending this year. I love how it turned out. A bindi would have just completed the book, right? 